Hi, this is JB from Not the Lights Over Arkham. We are continuing the Next Evolution campaign box scenario playthroughs, and this time we are in the second scenario, which is on the run, and we are playing this with Cable with the pre built leadership deck that comes in the box. So, first off, this scenario uses the same villains that were in the first scenario. So, we have the Marauders here. We also have the Marauder minions here from the Mutant Slayers um, modular set. That is because, first off, we need to figure out which uh, villain we have in play. And then we remove that minion from that set. And uh, then we need to search for one Marauder from the deck and put it in play. Then we shuffle those back. back. So I just put them on the side there because we are shuffling the encounter deck either way. So uh, we'll just start doing the rest of the setup here. So uh, first off I'll shuffle these and whichever lands in the bottom. I'm not looking at the cards. We will have uh, as the villain for this playthrough and uh, just good shuffle and we get arch light so these are removed then we remove arch light from here and we get to decide one of these that comes into play at the start of the scenario well hmm Let's see which one I haven't seen before. Well, I haven't seen Chimera. So, pause in your when Chimera attacks you or an ally controls, spend one mental resource or Chimera gets plus to attack. And she has pat patrol. Okay. I think I'm going with Vertigo. So, uh, we have Arch Light and Vertigo because when we flip this, uh, we will uh, resolve the when revealed, each player searches the encounter deck and for Marauder minion puts it in the play gates with them. So I'll just do it now and then I'll shuffle this in the encounter deck. Other thing to note before we start is that Archlight has the hopes capture attachment. It is a permanent, it can't be removed. Post interrupt. When the villain would attack you if a marauder minion is engaged with you, the villain schemes instead. Post interrupt. When the villain would be defeated, reset its uh, reset attached villain's hit points to its printed hit points value. Instead, flip this card and reveal it. We will get to that when we get there. But uh, we still need to add one health to Archlight because she starts with 10 hit points. So, just doing a quick shuffle for the encounter deck, and we are ready to begin. So, without further delay, let's get started. Okay, we are ready to start. So, again, uh, there is a setup here, which I can do if I want to. So, search your deck and discard pile for a player side scheme and put it in play shuffle. So, I'll I'm mm, not sure if I should do it before I draw my opening hand, because it's unclear. So I'll just draw my opening hand and go from there. So we get six cards. We have uh, Lock and Load, Sidearm, um, Ascani, Son, uh, Force, Amnesia, Mind Scan, and uh, Mission Planning. Well, let's search for... Uh, Player side scheme then, and I'm thinking I'll actually grab the uh, Technovirus Purge because we can actually defeat that on the first turn immediately. Just marking the guard here. Oh yeah, and uh, got to get away. Each Marauder minion gets steady, and if we would be playing in expert mode, the villain also gets steady, but we are not. We are playing standard. So. Uh, if uh, this stage is defeated, it has 8 uh, thresh thre threshold on it, uh, we would lose the game. 
Okay, well, this comes into play. So, Technovirus Purge is a player side scheme, victory zero characters that other than Cable cannot remove threat from Technovirus Purge. Well, I'm playing solo, so that doesn't matter. While Technovirus Purge is in the victory display, Nathan Summers and Ca Cable uh, gain the psionic trait and K Cable gets plus one four attack and defense, so we really want to defeat this as fast as possible, but I think we're set up here not probably playing anything here. Okay. Mm. Yeah, I'm, I think I'm just uh, going to hero mode. I will thwart for three here. Oh, I mean two here. So three left. Then I will play the mind scan. I'll use the mission planning and uh, sidearm to play the mind scan. So uh, remove three threat from a scheme, remove one additional threat from that scheme for each side scheme in the victory display. There are still none. So this goes here. I'll have this as my vic uh, victory display for the side schemes so I can remember how many I have defeated because a lot of cards in cable sets. Uh, key off of how many uh, side schemes are in the victory display. So, uh, after Cable defeats a side scheme, ready him once per phase. So, we ready Cable, and now Cable has plus 3 health. Okay, let's see. I think I will play Lock and Load here. And uh, I'm actually defeating that also. So I'm just going to defeat that. It goes into the victory display. So when defeated, each player may search their deck and discard pile for a weapon upgrade with cost of 3 or less and put it into play. Shuffle. So I am searching for the plasma rifle plasma rifle I'll put it into play and I think we will I will just uh, use the Ascanis on probably to start Ticking off for Vertigo. Uh, do we need... Oh. Pump the mic there, sorry. Uh, so do we need this... Um, hero response thwart after you defend in, against an enemy attack. So that gun is on spent. Uh, yeah, we, this would be good. But I think for now we can't play it. So I'm just spending that for the plasma rifle, and plasma rifle reads exhaust plasma rifle and spend an energy resource, deal one damage to an enemy for each side scheme in the victory display. So there are two now, we deal two damage to vertigo, and th this is because it has guard, so we can't hit the mark light yet. And that is our first turn, a bit lengthy turn, but it is what it is, so one, two, three, four, five. We ready up and we get uh, body slide, wheel support, anon tech, on county axe force, and gray malkin. So, gray malkin is great uh, combined with the plasma rifle. So, we really want that to into play soon enough. Okay, well, we'll go to the villain phase. We add one threat here, and because uh, when the villain would attack you, if a marauder or minion is engaged with you, the villain schemes instead. So arc light will scheme for one plus one, and you are stunned. Okay, well that sucks. So two threat goes here, and then vertigo attacks me. When vertigo attacks you or an ally you control, stun a character you control 
and we can't because we are already stunned and Vertigo gains plus 2 attacks for this attack. So I'm just taking the 2 damage. Uh, we still have 10 health left and I want to remain upright for next round. Okay, we'll get an encounter card and it is a side scheme the Senator's support. So hinder 1, so it comes into play with 4 threats. When defeated, the first player discards cards from the top of the encounter deck until an attachment is discarded and reveals that card. That's not nice. It is, but it is what it is, so that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Mm, okay, let's see. We don't have any uh, interesting stuff on our alter ego side. So, body slide is maybe not that good this round. Build support. Hmm. That would be... Well, I think we have other things to do this round. So, I'm debating... Well, well... Mm. Is there any way to remove one threat so I could... Uh, defeat that side scheme this round. Hmm. I'm not playing Phantom X, it's too costly for now. We want Grey Malking into play, so I'm just playing that. I'll just use the Uncanny X Men and the Body Slide, so. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm doing this, so I play the build support. We want to boost up our cable abilities, so first off I will use the plasma rifle, just to get rid of the stun. Then I will use cable, and remember we have the Technovirus perch in the victory display, so uh, cable has plus one to every stat, so Cable will thwart this away, this goes into the victory display, we get to ready. And lastly, I'll just defeat this guy. And, uh, yeah. Before that, we forgot to do the when defeated from here. Each player may search uh, their deck and discard pile for a support with a cost of three or less and put it into play. Shuffle. Let's see, we could put the Ascanis on, so after you defend against an enemy attack, exhaust the Canis on and spend a resource removal threat from a scheme equal to your hero's board, so I'll put that into play. And does it have to be from a scheme, so it can be any, any scheme. So we're ready up, we drop back up to 5. So we get the uh, Precognition, Sidearm, Professor, EVA, and Sunspot. So we'll see what we can do with those. We'll go to the villain phase. We add one threat here. So I'll change it to a 5. Mm, Archlight hits me. And uh, I'll just defend with Cable. And let's see, do I have any way to boost my defense? No. Okay, so uh, we will give Archlight plus two. So three against three. And uh, two, so we take two damage. But we'll use Ascanison to remove three threat from here. Uh, actually, we take one more damage because I forgot this is in play. And then we'll get an encounter card. 
It is bound by business. When revealed, discard cards from the encounter deck until a marauder minion that does not share the title with a card in play is discarded. Put that minion in the play engage with you. Okay, so we discard. And, uh, so we get Grey Crow into play. Okay, well. That is that, so. Yeah, that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Okay, well, uh, we'll that, that guy has retaliate, so we'll put that there. Let's see. That is an easy one to defeat, basically. We just play Sunspot. And Plasma Rifle it. So, we we'll play Sunspot. I'll use the sidearm, recognition, and the EVA. Or actually, we'll use the professor. So we keep the recognition in hand because we can play that. So after you play Sunspot from your hand, choose a player, deal one damage to the villain, and each minion engage with the chosen player for each uh, energy resource you use to play for. Sunspot, so we used one because of the EVA, but that is enough. We'll deal one damage here and one damage here. Okay, then I will use the plasma rifle to just defeat Grey Crow, and it doesn't retaliate because we defeat it. Then uh, Sunspot will actually just uh, get this removed. So, when defeated the first spell, discards cards from the top of the encounter deck until an attachment is discarded and, that, and reveals that card. And it is favored weapon. And that, well, um, so this attaches to the Marauder enemy with the lowest attack. So, if you attach here, so it gives plus one attack and uh, hero response after your hero defense against an attack from attacks enemy and takes no damage discard this card so we have a good chance to get rid of it because our light has a low attack okay and Precognition. Look at the top X cards of the encounter deck where X is the number of side schemes in the video display you may discard one of those cards, put the rest back in any order. I'll play that. And uh, because I didn't defeat the side scheme with Cable, uh, we don't get to ready him. But we have three side schemes, so I'll see. Uh, I don't like the inhibitor, but it is a good boost card. <clears throat> well, we don't really want this lab guy. Armor tech. So I'm thinking of discarding the armor tech, uh, getting this. No, I discard this, get this as a boost, and get this into play, and just remove it with the uh, sun spot. Okay, discard this. This is the boost card, and this is the encounter card. Okay, we ready up. We draw back up to five. One, two, three, four, five. Sidearm, teleport, temporal leap, uh, mission leader, telekinetic blast, and frenemies. Okay, we'll go to the villain phase. We add one threat here. Arc light attacks, and I will confuse a character. So we will defend. So let's see one, two, and the boost is two. We are taking one damage. Takes no damage. Well, that sucks.
Yeah, well, we we can't. Uh, let's just confuse some spots. Okay, well, we are defending, so it is. We'll take one damage. And after you defend against an enemy attack, exhaust Ascan is on and spend our energy resource. We will spend this. Or do we have on one in hand? No, we want to play that. Well, yeah. We'll use the uh, frenemies. So we will remove three threat from here. And we get an encounter card, which is the inhibitor color. Yeah, but that's okay. That is that round. Let's go to the next round. Okay, well, yeah, this should be exhausted. Let's see. Uh, I am just removing this with some spots. Then I will talent kinetic blast. Spent those. So deal six damage to an enemy. De deal one additional damage to that enemy for each side skill in the third display. So nine. So this is defeated. So when the villain would be defeated, reset each villain's. Uh, attached villain's hit points to its printed hit points value instead, flip this card and reveal it. So, uh, permanent, the villain gets plus 6 hit points. When revealed, advance the main scheme to stage 2a. This effect cannot be cancelled. Forced interrupt, when the villain would attack you, if a Marauder minion is engaged with you, the villain schemes instead. So, we add health to 10, then we'll add 6 more health over here, and this is from the Hope's Capture attachment. We will advance to 2A. When revealed, each player searches the encounter deck and discard part for a Marauder minion and puts that minion into play, engage with them. Shuffle, give the Marauder enemy a tough status card. Okay, so I'm just thinking of uh, getting the same one. Vertigo is not that tough, so we'll just take it again. We'll shuffle, just because it says to shuffle. So it has guard and tough. Okay, then I will see what this reads, escaping with hope. Each Marauder minion against guard and steady, and in expert mode also the villain against steady, but uh, we are not playing uh, the expert mode. If the villain is defeated, the players win the game. If this stage is completed, the players lose the game. So we need to get rid of all of that damage. But now all of these have guard, which is bad. So I'm just going to start chipping away here. Using the plasma rifle to get rid of the tough. And that is our turn. We'll draw back up to five. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, mission planning, the power of the mind, telekinetic force field, dead pool, and dead lock. I'm probably going to try and get dead pool into play as fast as possible. We'll go to the villain phase. We add one threat here. Uh, the villain schemes, uh, so two plus one is three. Then uh, vertigo attacks, and I'll give vertigo plus two attack. And defend with cable. So no damage taken, but I will spend an energy resource to remove three threat from here. And we'll get an encounter card. 
and tag, uh, tag team. Uh, when revealed, choose each Marauder minion engaged with you, activates against you, or discards when cards from the top of the encounter deck, put the topmost Marauder. So only Marauder minions, I'm choosing that, so this guy uh, or gal can hit me for 2 damage and uh, I'll just take the 2 damage. I'll give it the I'll actually just stun this one. So we stay at 10. Yeah. Okay. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Okay. And um, first off, we'll play Deadpool. And um, fortunately, I don't have an energy resource for the plasma rifle this round. Which is a shame. Would we rather play Deadlock? I think no. Okay, well... Uh, let's not play Deadlock yet. Mm. Well, Deadlock would be... Uh, Wild resource for the plasma rifle, but it doesn't help us enough. Okay, well, uh, this is a bit slow with the uh, go in play, but I'll just play the deadlock and I'll use uh, mission planning, the power of the mind, and telekinetic force field. Keep the deadlock in hand. Okay, so. Uh, Deadpool will hit Vertigo for 2 damage. Take 1 consequential damage. And that is our turn. We'll draw back up to 5. 1, 2, 3, 4. Well, that is what we want to see. Telekinetic Blast, uh, Scimitar, the Power of the Mind, Mission Planning and Deathlock. We'll go to the Villain Phase. We will add 1 threat to the main scheme. Arch light schemes for uh, 2 plus 1 if the villain is attacking this attack against piercing. It is not, so we'll add 3 threat to the main scheme. And Vertigo will attack. <coughs> so I think I will just take the plus 2 damage and defend with Sunspot. So Sunspot is defeated. And we'll get an encounter card. It is inhibitor color. Well, that, that sucks, but it really doesn't matter that much at the moment. Okay. Well, that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Okay, well, I think we have lethal on this round. So first off, Deadpool will defeat Vertigo, so we get rid of the... Um, guard. Next, we will play Telekinetic Blast and I'll use Mission Planning, Scimitar. Actually, it is sub so I'll just use Mission Planning and the Power of the Mind. And we deal 9 damage, so 6 here. And 3 from here, so 9 damage. Then uh, we will use the plasma rifle to deal 3 damage. Okay, I think we're 
one off of lethal, but next round. Yeah, so we'll hit for... We'll actually thwart for three, just to be safe. And that is our turn. We keep these in hand and draw back up to five. We get a uh, call for backup, uncanny axe force, mind scan, scimitar and deathlock. We'll go to the villain phase, we add one here and arch light attacks and I will confuse a character and uh, defend with cable. Plus two, so one, two, three, four. Five. So we take two damage. And let's see if we can use the Ascanison. Yeah. We'll use the Ascanison. And get rid of the Uncanny X Force. We remove three from here. Uh, the Encounter card is Chimera, so unfortunately this stops us from winning this uh, next round, but we have ways to defeat that. So, no worries, uh, it just delays us one more turn. So that is that round, let's go to the next round. Okay, let's see, we will... Uh, hit two damage here with Deadpool, and uh, when Deadpool would be defeated by Consequential Damage, heal three damage from him, instead add an Acceleration Token to the main scheme. So we heal, and add one Acceleration Token here. Then I will use the Plasma Rifle to kill off this. And... Uh, then I will play Skimitar. Or would call for backup be any good? Hmm. Would be pretty good. Yeah, I'm actually play uh, playing call for backup with uh, that lock. So next round we can. Get an extra ally in play easier. Uh, that is our turn. We're ready up. Draw back up to five. Another mind scan. Uncanny X Force, Caliban, mind scan, and uh, Scimitar. We'll go to the villain base and we add one here. And uh, Arch Light attacks. I will defend with Cable. Plus one, so one, two, three, four. Oh yeah, we'll confuse ourselves. And no, I'll give it plus two. So we're down to one. That is risky, but I'll take it because I want to get rid of call for backup. And I will use Uncanny X Force for that. So we get rid of this, this goes into the victory display, so now we have four cards there. We can't ready cable because of the inhibitor color, but uh, we'll get uh, deadlock, so deadlock after deadlock enters play, choose an upgrade in any player's discard pile with a cost of one or less, and that can be attached to deadlock, attached that upgrade to deadlock, and we'll pick a sidearm. So now Deadlock has plus one attack and it gains ranged. 
OK. And uh, we get an encounter card. It is Assault. Uh, that's not nice. We'll confuse a villain or a minion. And uh, Deadlock will defend. So 3 plus 1. So Deadlock is defeated. Unfortunately, but still we are going to win next round. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Okay, we'll just use the plasma rifle to deal for damage here. So that is game. Yeah, well, uh, that was a tight match, but we managed to get there in the end. So, uh, yeah, cables, uh, whole thing is to get those uh, side schemes into the victory display as fast as possible. So your other cards will get boosted up and also <coughs> uh, it is good to get the Plasma Rifle and the uh, Technovirus Purge into play fast, so then the uh, deck starts working pretty well. But yeah, that was uh, the on-the-run scenario with Cable's pre-built leadership deck. Hope you guys liked this playthrough. Thanks for watching and until next time.